I am uh, Dr. Nikki Fox, and I am the director of the Heliophysics Division at NASA headquarters. And so heliophysics really means the study of the sun and everything that the sun influences. So the Sun-Earth connection is, is a fascinating thing for, for us, really. There's a very beautiful, hazy atmosphere that surrounds the sun. It is called the corona. Decades and decades ago, people were very interested in what was going on in that atmosphere. Many different discoveries were made, one of which was that this material itself was about 300 times hotter than the sun's visible surface, which kind of doesn't make sense because if you walk away from a heat source, you usually get colder, not hotter. At the same place that you see this heating, you also see this plasma, this material gets super energized, so much so that it can break away from the giant pull of the star itself and get accelerated out into planetary space. We call this a solar wind. The events from the solar wind can cause um, damage to spacecraft. If they have these very high energy particles, they, they travel at about half the speed of light. The, those delicate solar cells can be damaged by the, by the radiation. And so there are many, many reasons why we care as a society about what is coming from the sun. So to really understand heliophysics, you need to have sentinels that are located in the right place to be able to kind of start putting the pictures together. But until we had Solar Pro, we'd never been able to go up into the heart of the corona to where this heating and acceleration is taking place. And so there are lots of breakthroughs that were done. Even the material that is on the front of our heat shield was specially designed for the solar probe. And so we're kind of going after three main things. One is this coronal heating. Why is the corona so much hotter than the surface of the sun? Why is the solar wind accelerated there? And then what is causing these sudden uh, explosions of particles on the sun? So those things we've only really been able to, to start um, studying that in detail, now we have these in situ measurements from Parker Solar Probe. In the space industry, there is room for practically every career you can think of. So my advice really is to, to look at what brings you joy, because if you love what you do, you will be good at it. For me, I love science. I really do love science, but I really like enabling science. So I really love leading teams that are gonna do great things. And so I think that you need to really think about what you are naturally good at and what you really enjoy and what brings you joy. And if you follow that path, I, I really think that you'll be successful.